What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about something a bit more advanced. Okay, it's pretty advanced and most people in the community, I mean, they don't think the way I think, they don't break things down, they take things for surface level and they don't they don't go deeper into concepts. That's pretty much what I love doing. Okay, that's, that's one of the reasons I'm still in this community because I love going deeper into concepts. So when it comes to attraction, okay, people generally, how do you generate attraction? How do you develop attraction? Most people will say you develop it, you develop attraction, you create attraction through whatever it is, being high value, demonstrating status, okay, pre-selection, social proof. Those are elements to develop attraction. Firstly, it's funny to me that no one knows, they can't put it exactly into what qualities and what, what you need. And but I want to break this down. I want to tell you guys that when it comes to attraction. There's the old school way of developing attraction. When I say old school, I mean it's the way the whole community thinks about attraction. And then there's the way that I have developed my game around and a concept or pretty much a system that I, the way I see attraction. Okay, but you've got these two ways. So the old school way is how to go about um, developing attraction. You actually generate it. You generate it through demonstrating value through demonstrating status, through demonstrating um, that you're, you qualify, that you are, you've got boundaries, that you're a high value male. Okay, so that's the one way. You're generating attraction. You're proactively going about conveying attractive qualities. Okay, what are attractive qualities? You've got the major qualities, the evolutionary based qualities, pre-selection, provider, protector, okay, being alpha, Okay, pre-selection, it's, it's all of those qualities, okay? Willingness to walk away. So you've got all those qualities and you need to convey them because those are qualities of an attractive male. So then you need to think to yourself, how can I convey those qualities? Okay, how do you convey pre-selection? Okay, pre-selection, you've got present and past. Okay, present pre-selection is you've got girls around you. Okay, it's very clearly you're presently conveying pre-selection. Past pre-selection, stories. Okay, stories of how you had girls girls around you wanting you in your life. Okay, everything. Protector, how do you convey the protector quality presently? Okay, everything's broken down present and past. Presently, you show that you can maybe take care of your friends. You're guiding your friends. You're, you're helping your friends. You're helping the girl. Okay, you're guiding her through the crowd. You're making sure that she doesn't get... Um, stepped on you're making sure that when there's a busy intersection you guide her through the road okay whatever it is through the street you're demonstrating presently that you're a protector how do you demonstrate it in the past through stories okay very very simple all of this provider how do you demonstrate it uh, presently let's say if she sees things like where you stay okay that your fashion okay indicators of that you could potentially have status, be a provider. Okay, it doesn't mean that you need to have so much money. It just means that you need to convey certain traits. Money is one trait of being a provider, but you could show other traits, which is well dressed. Okay, so things like that. It shows elements that you have the potential of being a provider. Now, if you look at past, how do you do this? Through stories. When were you a provider in your life? It's crazy to me that people don't do the past stories anymore. They, they think stories are, it's old school pickup, or it uh, doesn't work anymore. It's, it's totally ridiculous. If I had to tell you, let's say, for example, two weeks ago, I went to this model convention, and one of my ex-girlfriends was there. She was actually um, on the runway. She was actually on the runway showing her fashion, and... Um, it was crazy because at the time I hadn't spoken to her for a few years and I had this other girl with me and there was a bit of jealousy. Anything like that. That's just an example. By just saying those sta that statement, okay, that was 20 seconds. It was 20 seconds. I'm planting certain beliefs in your head of who I am as a person. I'm planting certain beliefs of pre-selection, okay? And it's 10 times more powerful for girls because they create this image of they need this pre-selection because it conveys alphaness. But even to you, when I told you that little story, you're thinking, oh, wow, he's pre-selected. 
Okay, he dated that girl. He had this other girl. He had this jealousy. So by, by using verbals, I'm planting certain beliefs in your head. Okay, so when it comes to attraction, you can ultimately generate attraction, okay, through showing, conveying those traits. Or, and this is the other way, this is the way that no one in the community understands, no one preaches, no one talks about, but this is the way I've developed attraction. This is the way I see attraction. I use both ways, but this is the way I see it. So, the results of attraction. What happens when a girl is attracted to you? Okay, when a girl is attracted to you, what emotion or feeling does she get? Okay, I'm trying to break this down for you. So, when a girl is attracted to you, what emotion or feeling she gets? Just try to think for a second. Okay, what does she feel or, or what state is she in? She's in a state of submission. The result of attraction is submission. Okay, when I started to break this down, this literally changed my game. The result of attraction is submission. Okay, very, very important. Okay, that's the state that the girl will be in when she's attracted. She will take on submissive qualities. Okay, submissive qualities of show indicators of interest in terms of high-pitched voice. Okay, maybe look down more. Maybe laugh more. Laugh more at your jokes. She will take on submissive traits. The result of attraction is submission. So why not concentrate on getting the girl to be in that submissive state instead of generating attraction. Okay, so, so let me say that again. The result of attraction is submission. If you understand that that's the result of attraction, why not work from the end? Why not reverse engineer this? The result of attraction is submission. So why not get the girl in a submissive state, okay? And that equals attraction because she will backwards rationalize that she's in a state that she should be in when she's, when she's attracted. If I know, so that now we go into how do you get a girl in a submissive state? This isn't about being aggressive or forcing a girl into submission. Obviously not, okay? Obviously that stuff doesn't make sense. A girl, when she's in a submissive state, what does that make you? In a dominant state, in a dominant role. What does dominance mean? It doesn't mean being aggressive. It doesn't mean forcing anything. It means being this dominant authority over her. Okay? It's nothing about aggressiveness. It's nothing about over physical. It's nothing about that stuff. It's using techniques that she can perceive you as a dominant male. Simple as that. Why? Because, again, the result of attraction is submission. Because the result of attraction is submission, and I know that a girl is in a state of submission, she shows submissive traits when she's attracted, I know that when she's in that state, she perceives me as dominant. So why not focus on that thing and put me in this dominant, dominant frame, her in the submissive frame to begin with, because then she will backwards rationalize that she's attracted. Okay, it's pretty advanced stuff. I just wanted to show you the way I'm perceiving attraction. Okay, not just let me go generate attraction. Let me just throw it through a few stories or anything like that. Okay, very important. It's, I mean, I can talk about this stuff for, and I do for hours and hours and hours and hours, but that's just the surface level. So if you guys have any questions about attraction, about how attraction works, just comment below. Okay, comment below and I'll get to your questions. Let's have a conversation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.